Shoulder training, good news, the shoulder can do this, bad news, the shoulder can do this. Which means it's very versatile and it's also very easy to injure. So the first thing is health, right? Can I do this? Right? If not, you will have to work on your scapular stability and mobility more, meaning your pull aparts, your reverse shrugs, without work. So with shoulders, just like with any other muscle, here's a really big secret. The fiber alignment, the insertion order of the muscle, dictates the workout. Not my workout dictates how I want biology to be. So the front delt, right, kind of like, kind of like so, it's safe to say you must do something like this, right? So that could be like a dumbbell front raise, and that could also be done at a cable as long as you are bringing these two ends together, okay? Personally, I don't think we need any more front delt work simply because from the computer, pushing, pulling, there's enough work. As is, most people are like that in the first place. So, not necessarily. However, it's ugly cousin, duckling cousin, the rear doesn't get enough work. So, the rear delt kind of like moves like this, 20 centimeters, slightly downward. So at a cable, it would look either protracted from here to here or retracted from here to here. So protracted, I have my shoulder blades fully. I lose them about here, that's how far as I go. And then if I'm going protracted, I'm stretching my shoulder blades and here I'm losing them, okay? So these are the two variables. Um, with the dumbbell, would be done you know, obviously seated, upper body comes low, and you would be ducting from here, not here, slightly, it's like so. And then, as for the medial head, I know there are seven heads, but we're covering three because those are the ones that matter for us. Again, the idea is that if I'm moving straight in a lateral motion, I simply work the front delt because that's now what's on top. So because this muscle is so small, the first move principle is really important because most people's side raises in slow motion look like this. That is a shrug, my dear friends. So I think there's whatever string or so through your elbow and you're moving the elbow up and out, okay? The elbow is always above the hand, never the other way around. So with the dumbbell, it would look like this. Sidebar, these two actually work really well together because with the dumbbell, there's little resistance here and a lot of resistance up there. Whereas with the cable, the main resistance is here in the stretch and becomes less. And then of course, there could be other things. So I'm just gonna demo them standing if I can untangle the cable. So there could be the dreaded palaquin raise. There could be the V pull, not the upright row. Even a Cuban press, if you have the mobility, works really well for that muscle. As well as for the rear, any type of wide pulley works at as an auxiliary. So, cliff notes. Origin, fiber alignment, determines exercise, not the other way around. The rear delt should get three times the work of the front. The media delt, easy to mistreat because the trap onto the rock, so make sure the elbow moves first. My God.